Welcome to Abby and Danny's Angling Vlog. Before we get started, click the subscribe button, click the notification, and give us a, give us a big thumbs up. and welcome to this week's angling vlog today you join me on the banks of Grimsditch pool on the limb anglers card it's the second session that we fished on this venue and I'll put a link to the top of the screen now um, to the first video that we did on here if you watch that video the decisions in this one will probably make a bit more sense as I said in the last video this venue is a lovely place to wet a line and as you've seen from the opening shots again this morning hasn't disappointed. In the last session it was quite warm and um, we were on that bank holiday weekend warm spell. We're on another bank holiday now but it's noticeably cooler this morning. There is a bit of a, a chill in the air but it is a clear sky and the sun is just coming up over the horizon so I'm pretty sure we're in for a warm day. It is quite a shallow venue so we are only going to fish till around midday. The sport did seem to tailor off around that time last time so yeah let's have a look at the setup that we're going to use today so the first setup is the same as my last vlog on here it's my drenin aqua elastic i've got two pound six ounce line to a four by twelve float i've got a strung out shotting pattern of dinsmore um, sticks down to a one pound fourteen ounce hook link with two droppers to a size twenty hook so second setup for today i've got my um power top with Drennan pink elastic, two pound six ounce line all the way through to a much shorter four by 12 float. And I've got that fished to a bulk of number eight Dinsmore shots and two droppers. And we'll have a look at the swim and the baits that we're gonna to use today. Right, so there's the swim that we're gonna to fish today. It's the same swim as we fished in the last vlog. And the reason for that is it had a nice even depth in the swim and we did get quite a few silvers on that blog so i am hoping that we can get into them silvers again what i have done on this blog is also put a line off the edge of this tree here and that has been fed with micros and corn and i'm just going to leave that keep me eye on it to see if i see any signs of bubbling or anything like that or any interest i'll probably rest it for probably about an hour before trying it i'm going to start off on the swim in line with that conifer again in the dark water on a about three sections of pole out and we're going to start on castor and hemp with a bit of pellet fed as well so side tray for today we've got some red maggots from angler's arc in run corn and i'll be using them mainly as a hook bait today we've got some casters Again from Angler's Ark, Cheshire Particle Hemp, as I say, I wouldn't be without that every time I go fishing. It's a quality holding bait. A tin of the old yellow pebble and some micro pellets. So let's make a start. So the first fish of the day, and it's taken probably a good 20 minutes to arrive it's a little small skimmer and the fish is really cold to the touch mad how you wait all that time for one bite and the very next cast you're into another one the first slightly better fish of the day looks like a skimmer I say slightly better, it's better than what we have been getting. But in the last 15 minutes, that's three or four bites that we've had after waiting quite a long time for the first one. So hopefully it's the start of the swim beginning to turn on so a bit. after a really slow start, just hooked into a, 
a better fish. And how typical is it that you feed an inside line for the better fish and then one line for the, the smaller ones and the better fish turns up on the pole line. And just keeping the pole under the water, there are quite a few snags to me left. And just trying to get the fish back in front of me. I would almost certainly think it is a tench on the top kit can begin to put a bit of pressure on the fish with the the puller kit and like last week when the swim went quiet we could tell that the better fish were there whereas this week it has been quite a a slow start to the session um, not many bites at all but is that because there's been better fish in the swim from the start and just shows that feeding the caster does attract the better fish into the swim and you know if you just wait patiently then the bites do come and it does show that sometimes on the blog when you see you know it, me talking on the first cast and the float goes straight away that not all the sessions are like that some of the sessions start off really quiet and now this fish is under my feet it's going for all the roots I've just got a glimpse of it, it is a tench hopefully he's beginning to tire and it is a good, oh it's a nice tench if we get him in it'd be worth the wait alone Head up. There we go. There we go. That lovely olive green tench. The old doctor fish. And if we learnt anything on the last session, it was that when these fish were about, the swim was quiet. So maybe this fish has been in the area this morning, and that's why we have struggled with the with the better quality silvers in here, because these fish do seem like they push the others out. But yeah well worth waiting for and as i said on the last venue on the last blog tench were the one species i was hoping i was going to come across on this venue and if they were this quality be well worth targeting let's get it straight back um give them a good rest in the edge and time for it to go back and straight down it goes right down to them snags it was trying to get me into and i know i said it last week but this is one beautiful place to wet a line you've got the moorvins on the island with young over there you've got the the geese they've also got some young there's a duck going around with about seven or eight ducklings blue tits there's a woodpecker in the trees over there you can hear tapping away and it just is a beautiful place to wet a line so one thing that is good about this venue is the even depth of the bottom so the swim out there is probably about an inch deeper than that swim 
So what I've done is I've I've done away with the the light kit and I've put the power top on just to give me a bit more control in case we do it the, the, some better fish. And what I'm going to do is really just see if we can have a morning now just targeting the better quality fish in this pool. And what it means is I can fish that swim there and change between that swim and still use the same rig, the same heavy setup. Just sitting and waiting on a double maggot. And as you can see, with that better elastic, I don't think it's a tench, I think it's a bream to be honest with you. And hopefully, you know, we can target these better quality fish by just waiting that bit longer for the bite. And there we go, there's that bream. And using that size 16 hook, fishing a bigger bait, hopefully we can target the better quality fish in the pool. And so far, that's probably about five or ten minutes after that tench. So it's hopefully going to work. So just changing between the swim in front of me and the margin swim and I've just tucked into a, a better fish down the margin swim and it's bolted straight out into the lake. Thankfully it didn't go left underneath the tree but it's heading that way now I couldn't have thought that up any better but there has been a benefit of swapping between the two swims most definitely and choosing this heavier setup is the is the right choice by far in more control of the fish and probably will be how I approach this pool from now on because there are some lovely fish in it and ideally you don't want to be having loads of elastic going across the pool because as you can see over there there are a few snags in the water and it is another tench smaller than the other one it's only about a pound I think but great fun and I think next time we come on here I think we'll bring the float rod and there we go second tension of the day great fun and there we go second tension of the day again in mint condition a lovely mayo tench probably about the pound mark I'd say but yeah great fun I'm coming down that margin that we fed with corn and pellet. We'll come on a double red maggot. And double red maggot does seem to be the better bait today for targeting these fish. Again, just waiting. A while for the bite, but when it's come, it's a better quality fish. Again on double red maggot over that bed of casters. And just keep swapping between the two swims really. You know, resting one, trying it for a bit, and then trying the next one. And it's working. quite well so far and they say not as many fish as last week but better quality ones when they come and there we go and there we go there's that bream um, definitely quality over quantity so far but that's what you get when you use the bigger hook bait and the bigger hook double red maggot by far the best bait corn not so but just feeding them casters and the um, micro pellets and the hemp 
and the double red maggot over the top is is what's doing the business so far. Um, two tench and a few of these bream are more than made up. And guess which numpty forgot his brolly. Yep. Again, waiting. And it's taking probably 10, 15 minutes. Missed two, I've had two come off to a hook pull. So I've put an extra section of pole on behind me so I can follow the fish out a bit better. But I'm just gonna have to watch out with this one going to them snags and I do apologise if there's any rain on the the lens of the GoPro. There's not really much I can do about it to be honest with you. But just gotta make sure he doesn't go for them snags over there. Slowly start shipping back. Just inch the fish back. Onto the top kit. So it'll be interesting to see what this one is. I don't know whether it, I think it's more than likely going to be a, another small tench. The third tench of the day. And we'll have a look to see what this rain does now. And we might call this one the last one. So with the rain coming down behind me, that is another fin perfect tench and what lovely fish they are on this Grimsditch pool and it's got a few nodules coming on the top of its head there but again a lovely tench and like I said that rain we'll see how it goes for the next 10-15 minutes but we might call this one the last one of the day but what if it is the last fish what a lovely way to end the blog a lovely tent. Session comes to an end there now. For the last 30 minutes it's not stopped raining and as you can see from the sky behind me doesn't look like it's going anywhere fast. Hopefully this this session shows that um, it doesn't always go to plan. Um, I come this morning set out my stall for silvers in front on the light of elastic hoping to get the better quality silvers that are in this venue that we had last time on caster and it didn't really work, it, it, the plan just didn't work. Um, probably the first two hours of the session, we really struggled. But the magic of fishing, isn't it? How a session can turn around. And it's about 11 o'clock now, so we fished about four hours today. But in the last probably two hours of the session, we've been getting them quality fish. You know, we've had what three tench as you can see on screen now, um, all in mint condition absolute joy to catch them fish we pulled out a two fish which almost certainly were better tench the elastic shot out the the end of the pole and the hook pulled and then we had them two better quality bream as well so it, it's another piece of the jigsaw for this venue and i can't wait to get back on here with a bit warmer temperature and we'll get the rod rod out and we'll fish close in the margins for some tench and see if we can get the swim fizzing but till next time i'd like to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch you all next time tight lines <laughs>